in the morning, rightly so. So today is the day that me and my mate Sam plan to do the Rentley Fallon, which is like the coastal footpath that goes right around the island. Um, it's about 98 miles long, so it's a pretty decent walk. We're going to do it over four days. So we've got three days of wild camping, which I'm quite looking forward to because I haven't done consecutive days of camping. Um, so I'm, I'm proper buzzing to do it, to be honest. It's something that we've been planning and looking forward to do for a while. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not in a rush to do it. We're going to just take it easy. That's why we're going to do it over the four day period. But it's still going to be about 20, 22, 23 miles of hike in a day. Um, and then obviously with the wild camping, possibly not getting the best sleeps or whatever. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Um, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to do it. To do it. It's like one of the last things on the island, like the main things that we want to do. Um, both done the Millennium Way um, and now we're, we're tackling this, going right around the coast. Uh, but it, sh it should be really good. Um, yeah, once, once we've done this, there's not much we can really, more, well obviously there's loads we can do, but different than what we've already done, there's not much we can really do. So it'll be on to further afield, which will be good. Get over to the UK when, well, travel's a bit easier now, so we'll be going to and from the UK and hopefully going up Scotland, Wales, etc. Start kicking out some big, some big old mountains, rather than just the, just the hills of the island, um, and then again further afield after that. It's all, it's all going to be fun. Um, we're going to start in Onken at Port Jack, so that's quite close to our home. So we're going to start there, and then we're going to go clockwise. Clockwise, so we're going to go down. We're going to go down towards Castletown, and then right here around the island. But yeah, it should be good. I've been really excited to do it. Like I say. Um, hopefully if the weather gets a bit better because it's not looking great to be honest. Start point for young Moran and Jeb. We start, we go. As you can see the weather has improved. We've got we blessed with lovely Manx weather as always. But yeah, we're uh, we are now under the go. The old Randy Fallon. We'll be back here in four days. Big hand on. And then head straight down to the Termi for a pint. Can't beat it, can you, Sam? Absolutely not, mate. Absolutely not. Right, here we are. We've made it. Our end goal. <laughs> it's not took us long, like. Um, but this was actually the real goal the whole time. We've walked down that road before, kind of. The old Termi. We'll. Uh, Technically we've made no progress. We've come so far. We've actually came all the way from just up there. But we all know the real goal is the Termi. So we'll see you in four days. First real checkpoint done. Hey Sam. Yeah. Onken to Onken. You can't see because the weather is somewhere over there. We awful. Yeah, somewhere about there. We came along the prom and then now we're up to Douglas Head. That's not much to show you the prom because a lot of road works at the minute. And it's probably quite windy up here, so I'm gonna stop. Fish. Jubilee. Right, because the rain has continued to pour down, we've decided to put the uh, bag covers on. And it's the first time we've had the bag covers out, and both of them are pretty funky colours. Uh, mine's a nice bright orange. Sam's lovely bright and green. Looks great, mate. Looks fantastic. Keep it dry. Show them mine, Sam. Get them mine shown. Boy, you look like fucking high vis, mate. <laughs> He's looking high vis. <laughs> Don't know what's with these new parking cones, anyway. Looking a bit strange. <laughs> right, 
No, let's go, stay vibey. Let's go. Let's go. He nearly walked up to that pole. That is up, Jake, from Young Heaven and Moran. It's going well. It's going all right, yeah. It's going all right. Hold this. Let's see. About just over 10k in. It's like two hours deep. We're just over two hours. Yeah. Sam didn't eat properly this morning, so he's on the cheeky bell beaters. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. You can't beat it. Love it. That's our breakfast for the next four days. Lovely bell beaters and protein bars. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you. Yeah, no. Sounds great. Uh, the weather's shit still. Oh, sorry. So bad. Excuse me, the weather is bad. It's poor. But it's set to get better, but we're outside, so we're just enjoying it anyway. Peace. A lot of lot more road walking still. Um, but yeah, through the Glen, and then, they like say, a lot more road walking, and then carry on down through to Castletown. Let's have you. Let's have you, Tom. Let's be having a yeah, baby! We've just came off the road a bit back on the coast. We've been walking for about, I don't know, like another 5k or so. Walked, just walked through this field there. Uh, and now we're just following back along the, back on the coast again. We've just been off land, like cut into land a bit. That's where the path takes you, but now it's uh, Yeah, back on the coast, but it's all pretty, pretty menacing. It's horrible still. But yeah, we just gotta get dig deep and get on with it. <laughs> nice, good. Bit of steezy tech section, hey? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have to get down in this weather. We're going. We're still going. What time table one? Two? No way. Oh, Gummy steaks are out. Let's see. Yeah. Gummy steaks are out. Morale is not great right now, is it, Sam? No. It's. The weather's awful. Like, I'm pretty wet through at this point. I should have brought more, water, more waterproof coat, but I just thought there was going to be like these light showers. We're at the airport now. We're about 24k in, just over five and a half hours. Just over five and a half hours, but we've been getting an absolute beating, haven't we, Sam boy? So bad. The rain, the wind, and getting these tents up is going to be hard. Yeah, we're a bit worried about where we're going to get a tent up, to be fair, because like the up. The other two nights, we've got a pretty solid location. Nice. We know where we're going for them two nights, but now, yeah, we've not really got an idea where we're going to pitch up down south. We want to go for about another, like, 15, 16, 17k, uh, 17k. So, like, three, four, four hours of walking. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. We're gonna have to stop up and refill our water bottles. We're running a bit low. Just at the airport, chilling. Had the bags off. 
rested on here. Honestly, it was the most relieved I've ever felt. Came around all there and whatever, now I'm eating my gummy worms and it's, um, it's morale boost. It's the little things, I tell you. It's the little bloody things. Fucking sun's out, boy. Yes, mate. Sun's it. A quick status update since the last one where we were at the airport and morale was quite low. But sun's out a little bit. The weather's not too bad now. A little blue sky is coming. We've had the coat off. Coats are off. Waterproofs are off the bag. It's looking hopeful. Like, we're a lot better morale now. We've just had to sit down. We've had some food. We've not come very far since the last update. Like, you can... You can see the airport over there. It's, we've probably done like, how far have we done? Like five, five, six K in about an hour and a half, two hours. But it is what it is. We've got ages. Hopefully this weather sticks and we can get the uh, tents off and chillax, mate. Chillax and relax. Just drying off a little bit because we have got battered all day and it's been horrible, hasn't so it, Sam? Bad. We faced the brunt of today and now we're just going to chill for the rest We of faced it head on! Like, it's not like we've got much to do the rest of the day, is it? It's just put no. the tent up, make some food and that's it. Like, even if we pitched up at like 9 o'clock, so yeah. it doesn't really make a difference. We stopped, at the garage. we stopped at the garage as well. Got a coffee. Got a coffee. Why well, didn't I got a big bag of crisps or ate them all? No shame. Absolute no shame. Any last words, Sam? Not really. Sam's got no last words. Any what about else? Still nothing, mate. No. Nothing. We're looking forward to it. We're having a brilliant time. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking Dragon looks sick, doesn't it? That's what I was getting. See if I can get any more. Without looking. Oh, yeah, the Drinking Dragon, baby. Looks cool. These stairs are class, aren't they? Sam boy, Yo. starting to get a bit tired. <laughs> Whoa, I fucking should have been looking where I was going. What an idiot. But just walking through some some farmage. And the farm. And the farm. Put a couple of hours down the farm, grafting away. Now oh, we're just off home. Off home, a couple of hours graft, and the farm. Some chickens. Oh, hello there, chickens. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm hungry. Where's chicken dinner? Oh, I'm not even showing. There they are. I'm a bit scared of birds, so I hope they don't attack me. Well, they don't look very friendly. Look at them. He's fucking. He's back charge. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, thereabouts anyway. Yes. After a rough day, Sam. We got base one set up, easy, 
Uh, we're staying in Sam's parents, one of their friends in their garden, and they've got this little sick little teepee thing. We're not staying in there. We got we can't stay in there. It's got a double bed in though, so it would be mega comfy. But we had to get our tent stay up. We couldn't have too much of a luxury. Um, it was very kind of them. Let's scan his first pack of space food. Show me what it is, Sam. Chili, minced beef with tomatoes, red kidney beans, onion and peppers, Ooh. and chili sauce. It sounds really nice, but it does. I mean, it doesn't look that nice, does it? I mean, it looks <laughs> as appetising as space food comes. It, it looks, looks all right. Good. One first bite. What are we saying? So like that. So like that. Yeah. I um, I've already ate mine. I forgot. I, I forgot to give a report, but this is what I had. It's a, you can't read it, but it says spicy sausage pasta, and there's a representation of what it looked like. But as you can see, I've ate all mine, and it was very. It wasn't very big though. I literally ate it in about. A spoon and a half <laughs> but Sam idiot look at this idiot here say so Sam's an idiot forgot his spoon so he's now using my teaspoon so my hot chocolates are gonna be tasting like chili con carne or whatever it is tasty young Moran and Jeff located at base one um, Sam's parents, friends, Carly and Gareth. Yeah. Carly and Gareth, legends. They've uh, let us camp in their garden. Very much appreciated. Their garden. So we've got a nice little setup going. Ready to go again tonight. <laughs> yeah, we'll have it. That's going in the final call. That's going in the final call. It was a tough day today for the bees, but it is what it is. We're gonna go again, but this is not. Shout out to Gareth and Carly, thanks. Morning, morning. Uh, this is the start of our day two on our Randy Fallon Fel adventure. Uh, I didn't have a great night's sleep, to be honest. It was pretty poor, but. It's one of them things, gotta get on with it. Getting a coffee on the go now. As you can see. Coffee. Water is boiling. And there's the outside. Tent's a bit wet, but yeah, it's sleep, but hopefully after this coffee I'll get get on the go. See you in a bit. Two on the go, in it Sam? Mm hmm Day two on the go. What did you just say before? <laughs> Tents down, cleaned up, um, and now we're on the go walking. Got the rucksack on. Sam's just put his on. How's the rucksack feeling, Sam? Yeah, all right. But so on the shoulders, like you know. But we move. We're going. We're going again. Yeah, the weather's low nicer today, so it should be a good day. Um, just got to get these legs going again because it's. They're a bit stiff, as expected. Um, yeah, should be a nice day. We're gonna go for about the same distance as we did yesterday, see where we end up. Hopefully somewhere around Kirk Michael, but possibly Peel. Uh, but yeah, we're on the go. Done. Day one was horrible. Hopefully this is gonna be a lot better. I've moved this little rucksack this little camelback thing that I had onto my belly area, took it out of my bag so I can charge my phone. And it also offers me a little handy pouch for me snacks, me bell because I'm because I'm running on bell vitas and some flapjack thing and a coffee. So we'll see how far that takes me. Hopefully to at least Port Aaron or to the local shops. It, stopped, yeah, first one we see, right? Nice one, Peach. Moran needs water, ASAP. Moran needs water, <laughs> right? Peach. All right, morning, morning. All right. There's a 
Shaw pub. Sam's dad called us out for not walking to it last night. But it would have added 2.2k either way to our overall walk. So we'd have been doing an extra 4.4k for no well, I say for no reason. It would have been for a nice pint, but we had a couple beers back at the tent anyway, so it's not it's not too much of a miss. And we've got uh, pub night tonight. We've got pub night tonight anyway, so so it's all good. Easy beach. Going for a nice little wander. Love it. Lift it up. I'll go. Where's the helicopter? Can't see it. Can't see the heli. Somewhere there anyway. A little bit windy. Going good. Going, going good. Out of Port St. Mary, heading to the chasms. It's quite a nice day, so should we get some nice viewage? Some nice bloody viewage. Oh, it's lovely out. Look at all that wood. Wow, that's nice. Ready for this scenage. Absolute scenery. Wow. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Just walk somewhere around there. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. We're loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like that. I've literally just stopped recording about two minutes ago back there, but just a little update. Popped my first blister on my foot, just felt it go, it was like this, it was rotten. So, these socks that I've got on today, they're the ones that I wore yesterday, which is pretty scatty to be honest, and they were stinking. So, I reckon after tonight, they're getting swapped out for my other pair, and that'll do for the next two days. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on lugging along. What did we say, Sam? One foot in the front of the other, innit? Step yeah. by step. Legs will loose eventually. We've got to do it. We've got to do it at some point, so we're just gonna crack on, aren't we? Just gonna crack on. But yeah, 
That was a blister pop report. First one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, four and a half miles in. A bit to go, but we'll we keep on moving. Moving. Right, yeah, bye. We just took a seat at the chasms for a little bit because the views are excellent and that looks sick as so yeah we just took a little seat non-stop bro all the purple we love it black currant we'll be making some black currant juice we'll be currant juice we'll be making some black currant juice <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, there's even a boat in the ocean. I mean, it wouldn't be on land, but there's a boat in the ocean. It could be in the harbour. It could be in a lake as well. It could be in, in, in a river, but no, this boat ain't on land, it's in the ocean. It's cool that isn't it? The lovely stuff. And the path goes on and on. The path goes on and on. We're just going around to the sound. Don't think it'll be too much longer until we're there. Oh that will be the drinking dragon that we seen yesterday. He doesn't look like he's drinking, he's like he's filled up in a bowl now. No drinking dragon today, from this angle anyway. Another little funky fella. Black and orange. He is cool. A little pass. Boy, that fella there, he's pulling the Mooney by the looks of it to me. Where is he? Mooney or the Mooney? Nah, he's not. <laughs> he's no Mooney. Just got his khaki coloured pants on. Easily confused when he's sticking out his booty. Uh, a status update because we're 11.69k in now. We're at the Sound. A bit windy, but it's alright, it's not raining, which is a country mile better than yesterday. So much better. Well, we have choice today. Come on. These little sour fish, but they're nice. Uh, we're gonna get to Port Aaron and then get like a subway. I reckon we should get around to like Peel tonight. And uh, that's where we'll set up camp. But yeah, a little break, feet are killing. Serious blister ridge, but we move. How's it going for you, young Sam? Alright. Yeah. Lessons learned about which I can pack lighter, which ball bag, carrying weight, which weight. It's got a load of legs. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Proper little scramble going on. Sam and Jeb, the set of mountain goats. No problem for them. No problem for them. Let's see that. 
handy little. Oh yeah, Mr. Footpath, I can see where you're taking me. Thanks for the little bit of guidance. Proper, proper, proper. Can't beat it. Coastal footpath for you. Loving it, loving it, loving it. That cow right there is like as classic cow as it comes. Such a basic cow. But an official cow. <laughs> Look at all the cars, there's loads in here. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. On we go. We're just somewhere up here. We are dropping down into Port Erin now. We're gonna have the subway, because I've probably told you about it a hundred times because I've been buzzing for this subway. Um, we're gonna eat some warm food from subway. And then we've got to get the peel, so we're gonna go all the way up by the head. All the way up. Drop back down to Fleshick and then back up again. And then along and then back to the arbor. And then it just goes on and on at this rate. <laughs> it's not for us. We're quite deep into it already, we're about 14k in. We've been going for just 10, mm, 10, just under four hours. I'm not making much sense there. <laughs> I was trying to say 10 to four, but to tell you the time, how long we've been going for, which didn't really make sense. But anyway, yeah, we're just dropping down to Port Aaron. It's going downhill, it's a killer. Like it's actually sore as anything. Uphill's not too bad at the minute, but like just downhill, the pressure on my feet. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Nifty little way to lawn mow the bank. Bit of string, up and down. That's how you do it. Speedy status update because we're in public and I'll get embarrassed if anyone sees me doing this status update in public. But we've made it to Subway. Yeah, made it to Subway. Morale is low. We've done like, we've done 16.12K in like four, four hours, 20 minutes. 4.20, let's go. Um, Hard work. Very hard work, yeah, morale's low. We've got a long way to go. We've got to get to Peel tonight, because I think we're staying in Peel campsite. Um, but yeah, I got a foot foot long a spicy Italian or something like that. What'd you get, Sam? Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> no. No. Are you good, John, though? We're pretty screwed, aren't we, Sam? Yeah. We've got so long to go. But we move, or we try to. We're just moving slow. <laughs> <laughs> that sums the whole thing up, mate. Moving just slowly, like, just moving slow. Sam is considering debunking a little bit. I might fall, oh no, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I need, I need to carry my stuff, because I need mine tonight, because I'm gonna have super noodles, or if the pub isn't open. Bye, I'll see you later. I'm gonna drink this drink as well. We've <laughs> been refueled by a subway. Um, and the engines are choking along again. We are just up right ahead now. And we're gonna go along. Along through to Fleshick. There's Sam, choking along. On we go. Kind of. A little bit. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting the tent set up later on. But there's a long way to go before that can happen. We're just down on Fleshwick now. We just came from down that. When we were doing it the other week, we'd done this part like a couple of weeks back and we were like, oh, there's no chance it will send us up there because it it's vertical. It literally is vertical. It might as well be vertical. And we just came, we just came down it now, and gee, oh my god! It honestly on the on these feet as well, oh, I could have cried coming down it. It was so hard. It was like it, it it was literally like that, and there was just rocks and everything, and it was like it was a hard hard work, bro. Ah, it, oh, it, it wasn't nice anyway. But we're down now. We're down onto Fleshwick. It's quite. 
all looks quite nice. But the best thing about being down here is we've got to go right back up again. Literally, right back up again. Uh, I'm not. I'm entering some dark places here. <laughs> some seriously dark places. Here's boosted my morale. That little happy face there, the polar bear. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Sam, any input on what we've just been through? I mean, my legs are just going like vibrate, like just non stop down there. Yeah, my arm clumsy as anyway. I've already got a little, like, a little small niggle on the top of my foot or something just from twist my ankle because I fell over about four times coming down the back of the He does hate a fall over. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite painful, like, but you know, we're plowing on. Um, it is getting late. <laughs> I'm scared that on the way to people may have to the head torches out because you may lose light. Um, but we'll, we'll soon find out anyway. It is looking lately anyway because it's four o'clock and we're like far away. <laughs> probably, got, <laughs> probably got another six hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's off. Flash it. Look at that. Oh, 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 zoomed in. Zoom that back out. It looks different. I remember it. It does look. Did it with a happy mindset. <laughs> yeah. Everything just looks dark and dull at the minute, but could be the clouds. Could could, could be because we're getting absolutely beaten up here. That's us today. Because it's the coastal footpath. I, uh, right up there, that's where we're going. We're just getting the covers on because it's green again. So. Covers on. Honestly, we are taking an absolute beat down. We're absolutely getting terrorised by the, the Manx, the Manx outdoors. Honestly, it is awful. It's rain and the weather mixed together. We've not had it. We've not honestly caught a break. It's been windy as hell all day today, and we. So we've just gone. So what did we do? We've gone up Bradder. We've gone. We've, we've gone down. Bra we've gone down, down all the way to Flesher. We've gone back up Fleshick, was which was like unbelievably painful. Like 60, 50% gradient, it was fucking like scramble. You, you put it vertical, we went vertically down and vertically up, and we knew it, we knew this, but like last time we did it, we did it with these little light light day packs. We had these little light day packs In shorts on. and a t-shirt. And we were, we were running down the hill, like we had the cheek, we had the audacity to run down the hill, like casual and things when we were doing it this, this other week. But honestly, I'm telling you, the going down today with this rucksack on, with the weather, with how far we've came so far, we've honestly, we've absolutely been terrorised. We went up, we went up over the slock. Um, we went up over the slock, and the rain just started smashing us again. We were up along the hill, and we were just getting absolutely pelted by rain. Um, we came down again, getting absolutely beat by the light, by the wind and the rain. Just. Just the terrain in general, in general, it's just like everything's just not a clear. Obviously, it's not a clear footpath, but it's just rocky and it's loose and it's it's just awful. And we've just been sat there down here, Sam rang his mom and just gave her an update of where we were. And we were kicking ourselves because we hadn't bought any sweets. And then I reminded, I remembered <sighs> that we I had half of this chocolate bar, this Smarties chocolate bar, and honestly, it. It brightened up our day so much. Massively. Because we were in some seriously, seriously... It is a little, when you're out in this, in this sort of situation where, like, the rain's pouring down, weather's fucking shit, well, not good, sorry, uh, and the terrain's giving you a battery. Like, little things like having some chocolate, having a sweet or something, can just proper, like, a bit of sugar can just lift the mood. But I, we were up there before, now I literally went to the shop before and just bought some water to refill the Camelback. And... I didn't buy any sweets when I was in there, and I honestly thought we'd have nothing. We just thought I'd come sit down and eat like a Belvi or something. So, the trusty Belvi is this... though. We are trusty, but this smarties, we've had a bit already. There's a bit more. We're gonna split that, and we can have it between us. Well, yeah, it's dark, mate. It's horrible. It's like, what's the time? It's two pieces each. It's ten past five. Um, we've got a way to go. We've got to get to. 
I reckon we've still got another four hours. Well, yeah. We've got to get to Niarbal. Then we've got to get down through Peel. And then we've got to set up them. Well, this is pretty hairy, to say the least. Yep. And it's just not getting easier. Hopefully, next two days will be a bit, a bit better. It's like this. Because I think this down here is closed. Because we've seen it last time it's closed. That's the way we went last time. We're just going to go that way. Yeah. It's going to be another absolute awful climb. And then back down again. But it's what it is. Oh well. Yeah. Please. Any last input, Sam? No. No. Nothing, mate. Nothing. This is what we're, this is what we're dealing with right now. Just horrible Straight hills. Straight bloody hills, mate. Uh, I'm running pretty low on water right now and we're still far, far away. Should have stocked up more. I was trying to keep the bag a bit lighter, but that was stupid. Nearly at the top of this hill, though. Had to benefit. Slugging away. Slug, slug, slugging away. Got a bit of a niggle in my right knee. Love it. Here we are, status update. Base camp to, to move out the way, Sam. Base camp to set up. We're here. Um, yeah, we got we got to like Dolby, and well, we've way before Dolby. Sam fell when we were at, going along, going up the south, uh, down the sound, because it was just windy, it was crap weather all day, and he, he hurt his ankle. Um, we got we got on our way quite a bit. We were like coming down. To, to early cushling and it we've really been over, over Brada, we've been up over the slop we've been over Cronk here really. we did all the big we did we did big we did all the big hills didn't we? Hills. we did all the big hills anyway and then we were coming down to early cushling and it was so foggy up there the weather was awful and we lost the route a bit so we went down we went down the green lane down there and um I think we joined back on. We put, we were on the road anyway, so we fell on the road for a bit. And Sam was absolutely suffering, like his leg like, kept on spasming. And so we, he was trying to get through to his dad to, like, call it a day for him, um, and just get to the campsite and just so we could try again tomorrow. Ice it and go again tomorrow. Yeah, get some ice on it and try and go again tomorrow. But, but it, we, as he was trying to call him, we were like, like I said, we're going through Dolby and Sam's dad just pulled up, like it was. It was, it was fantastic. Some coincidence, wasn't it? anyway. <laughs> Some coincidence, yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I was just going to carry on and just carry along the road, but Sam's dad had the point that it was. There's no point in just walking along the road. We came to do the rad, and it would be an hour of walking just on my billio. There's no point in walk. We've not missed a lot. We've literally, literally missed out. We tackled all the hills and everything. We would have just been walking a little bit longer. Yeah. So we got to peel. So we've not missed anything really. It was just coming into peel. That's all we've missed out really. So it was like, I was humming and hawing it, and I just was like, "Fuck, can't be ass of it. Let's just get to the campsite, get camp set up." It was getting late as well, so we got, so we got, we got a lift into here. Stopped off at the shop right at the shop, and just got, got some essentials. We got some essentials, haven't we? Sam? Ice, paracetamol for the pain, because we're both. Quite a lot of pain. Yeah, I had a really bad knee niggle, but yeah. it, I, it's nothing crazy. I'd I'd keep going with it, but it. Well, we should see how we are tomorrow, and we'll just see if we can bang out the rest. But I think we've underestimated it. A well, you know what? It's the weather. The, the weather. The weather. Yeah, the weather. Yeah, we've we've deloaded on the baggage. Um, uh, we left some in the car, and yeah, so we're. At, Peel campsite and there's like showers and things here, so we're gonna have a shower, order some food. Got a bother cooking. A bit defeated. I, I got this defeated mindset today. We've taken an absolute power in today. Yeah. Sun, wind, like shitloads of wind. 
pissing down the rain, you're on the top of the, the top of the mat of the hills. Yeah, look at my face. You'd think it is proper sunny out, but it's not. I reckon that's just getting battered by all the different, all the elements, all bro. The, all conditions. Literally all conditions. Awful terrain with legs that are already battered. We were, we, 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 we walked along for miles off just like crap terrain, just on our own. Literally, we were. Oh my god, that bird's gonna fly. No. We were just walking on our own, mate. We might as well have been on two separate trips because, yeah. like, we're, Sam was about 50 <laughs> yards behind me, and we were just slugging it, absolutely slugging it, mate. And it was, it was, it was pretty naff. There was nothing to say. But yeah, so like I say, we've got the beach time set up. We're gonna have a shower and just try and get into a better mindset than what we are now. Yeah. But we hadn't. We we set off in August thinking, oh, we'd have all right weather, but the weather's been awful. The weather's been rubbish. Yeah, so we go again tomorrow, hopefully. Um, my feet are pretty battered. I've got hella blisters on them. I'm not going to show you that because that's weird to show my feet. And if I put it on, put it on the internet, and the weirdos on the internet. As my morale was low, oh, actually, showered, clean, put a new pair of Grundies on, and I tell you what, it was the best feeling ever. It was unreal. So we got a bit clean. We actually got Chinese, mate, because we just we just we we just Debbie down and because we call it short a little bit, but it's no biggie. We'll just smash it out tomorrow. We go again. Yeah, can't wait. I just got some. Well, I can't show you. Uh, I just got some rice and curry and chips. I don't know what I want. Not a fan of Chinese, but it was the only place to open because we're in Peel. So, yeah, it was here. A rapido. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just gonna check on Sam while he's on his repair and his foot of duty. <laughs> and I come out and I see this. <laughs> Wait there, look, look at this. Wait. <laughs> this is tenant, look at this. Bit of ice to fix it. Hey. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers for the water. Good luck, bro. <laughs> nice. Well done, Sam. Oh,